Good morning. There are two kinds of people in this world. One who can infer. I know my jo joke is not great, but I have a guest whose humor is at his best. He's Josh from Stat Quiz. Welcome, Josh. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. That's that's a wonderful poem. <laughs> Inspired by you, I'm I'm really excited because there's so much I have to ask. But first, why don't you tell us something about yourself and your YouTube channel? Hi, I'm Josh Starmer. Uh, I have a YouTube channel called StatQuest with Josh Starmer, and I try to explain or clearly explain uh, data science and machine learning topics statistics um I, you know it's just that's what i do you do a great job i mean i'm a teacher but i've been your student virtually and oh, well. great mm -hmm. learning from you i'm following your 66 days of data on linkedin what is it about oh uh so i i have a, a friend uh named ken g uh who has created this thing called 66 days of data and he does it every year and this year i'm joining him uh, and what it is, is every day for 66 days, uh, you have, uh, you spend at least five minutes uh, doing some kind of new data science related thing. Um, and then you post about it on the social media of your choice. And uh, I, I think for me personally, it's an awesome opportunity to kind of uh, you know how like we do our work. There's all this interesting stuff going on in the world, um, especially in data science and machine learning. People are inventing new algorithms all the time. It's kind of impossible to keep up with, but I'm using this as my excuse to kind of force myself and kind of like get myself out of my comfort zone and spend at least five minutes a day trying to learn something new and exciting. And it's, I've got to say, I love it. Uh, we're on day 22 right now, and this is the most fun I've had in a long time. I'm going to try that. Joshua, just like it's so much, you have to push yourself to keep things interesting in machine learning. The competition is crazy. Now, I've seen uh, a lot of people who are doing something else as their majors. Half the way through their undergrad, they realize the potential and their excitement for AI or machine learning. And without any foundational background, they just start implementing. Now to start with, this is really cool because you're getting results quickly. But when yep. it comes to studying and getting good scores and taking up a career, the problem is the no background of stats, no background of math, and that is that, that exponentially grows the struggle. So how to study and balance something as foundational as stats with all the other things? <laughs> I have an excellent suggestion. Check out Stat Quest with Josh Starmer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, I mean, I'll be honest, I love statistics. It's foundational in so many ways to so many fields. It's kind of like, uh, I mean, for me, it's a personal like, like, it's one of my favorite things to do, because it, it's one of the few sciences that I feel like really reflects reality because a lot of a lot of things that we do in science we're like we do an experiment we get the same result but reality is kind of messy right we don't always get the same thing when i when i sit down and i eat dinner it's not even if i make the same exact dish it's going to taste a little different and that could be for a lot of reasons that could be for me maybe my health is slightly different maybe i'm congested and i can't smell everything you know there's a million reasons why everything we do is always different and statistics is the only thing i know of that kind of like says hey that's the way life is let's try to figure it out and try to understand what variation is and what change is and and make sense of that uh how to not get overwhelmed in doing that there's no end to stats once you start so oh, I, yeah, that's very true. Uh, and I feel I, I gotta say, I feel overwhelmed, too, because um, people, you know, like every day I get emails from, you know, a bunch of people that and they want to learn about this thing that I've never even heard of. And this other thing that I've never heard of. And I'm like, and this thing I've never heard of. And I'm like, wow, how is there so many things in this field? Um, so uh, that's a great question. And uh, one thing I like to, and I hate to I hate for this just to be a big advertisement for my YouTube channel, but one thing I've, I've tried very hard to do on my YouTube channel, especially in my statistics fundamentals, is focus on the main ideas, the most important things. And the most important things I think of in, in, in statistics are uh, 
getting a solid understanding of what variation is, what variance is, um, getting a solid understanding of R squared as a way of sort of understanding what your model does to that variance, uh, getting a solid understanding of P values uh, so that you can know when your model is actually making a difference or not. And, you know, and then on top of that, sort of a basic understanding of like linear regression. Uh, I think if you can get those concepts down, you've got 99% of it. And the rest of it, stuff you've never heard of, sure, it's out there and it sounds fancy and interesting and, and also very intimidating. But if you understand variation, you understand R squared, you understand p-values and a basic regression, you've got the main ideas of what statistics does. Um, one more question. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, now we had COVID and people were predicting uh, when COVID will come to an end, expecting it to be normal distribution, which meant they were assuming that all the people affected were IIDs, etc. They were not affecting each other. These are the kinds of blunder we see people making very often with stats. How to deconstruct where not to use stats or which stats is wrong to plug in at some places? How do we identify that? Uh, uh... Unfortunately, um, that just comes with experience. I mean, there's a lot of rules you can follow, but interestingly enough, statistics is full of rules, but a lot of those rules are meant to be bent and broken. Um, like the IID thing, sometimes that's very important, depends on the model. Sometimes it's not that important to make sure everything's IID. You can have some correlation amongst uh, this, the, the things you're measuring. And that's, so it's, it's, unfortunately that's where like statistics is right on the edge of like of like science and just sort of like an art form where unfortunately it really does you just have to do it you've got to be around people that are good at it. you almost have to apprentice yourself to really get a good sense of how to really do statistics well um and that's just an I wish it wasn't that way I wish it was just something you could learn and follow the rules and you'd be good to go but it's not like that Right. Any suggestion for stats enthusiasts, stats learners, or anyone at all who's watching my video? Uh, I, my the only suggestion I have is just be curious. Because uh, if you're curious, you'll you'll you don't just want to learn the rules. You want to learn sort of what they really mean and what they represent and. And just be curious about it all because it's an exciting field. There's a lot going on. And like I said, it's it's one of the few things that I feel like really reflects this wonderful world that we live in. And you can kind of learn about the world as well. Can I request a little jingle yeah. from my YouTube channel? Of, of course. <laughs> of course, I've got my ukulele and it's all tuned up, I hope. Here's a little stat quest song. Here's a little stat quest silly song. It's just for you. It's a silly song, so it's not very long. Here's a little silly song for you. Stat quest. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you so much. You know, today in Pakistan, it's our second day of Eid, which is one of the oh. biggest holidays, uh, Islamic religious holidays. So I think this is the best uh -huh. gift I can give to my friends and family and followers and subscribers on YouTube. Thank you for the contribution on this.